Hello and welcome back to another episode of Tiger TV. I'm your host, Zachary Johnson. As the frigid days of January drag on, we've recently hit the midway point of the school year. This past week, second semester began, so we hope everyone's transition to new classes has gone smoothly. Our crew has been working hard to create an amazing show for you, so let's get right into things. We are accustomed to change here at Taunton High School with new staff, teachers, and administration. This year, we welcomed a new assistant principal, Mrs. Carolyn Blanau, to Taunton High School. Aiden Mendes caught up with her as she shares her thoughts on how the school year is going. Recently, Taunton High has welcomed its new assistant principal, Mrs. Carolyn Blanau. After spending some years in the Taunton High Tech Department, Mrs. Blanau takes on her new role as assistant principal in order to make Taunton High a better place. Mrs. Blanau is no stranger to working in large school systems. Prior to her joining the Taunton High staff, she worked in diverse school populations in the California and Boston areas, where she gained valuable experience that will help her in her role as assistant principal. And I would say that working with diverse populations um, is something that I take very important um, and something that I, I feel that I'm skilled in and um, I love doing. The average day for Mrs. Blanau typically looks very busy. In the role of assistant principal, it is her responsibility to serve both students and staff of the Taunton High community. So every day looks pretty different. I would say that um, most days, if I'm lucky, I get to spend some time with students, really um, getting to reward them or you know honor them for something that they've been able to achieve here at Taunton High. Some days um, it's working with curriculum supervisors, some days it's working with guidance counselors closely, um, and some days it's working with associates. So I would say every day is pretty different. Um, they start really early and they end pretty late. After getting some more insight about Mrs. Blano, she shares what she hopes to accomplish this upcoming school year. Um, so I strongly believe that every student deserves to be exposed to um, a high quality uh, instruction. Um, I, I feel that um, not every student um, historically has had that opportunity and so um, I really believe that all kids deserve to uh, learn at high rates and I want to make sure that kids have the best learning experience possible at Taunton High. Despite being in this position for almost six months now, Mrs. Bonneau already has a whole list of reasons why she loves her role as assistant principal at Taunton High. So I enjoy walking into a classroom and uh, observing students deep in conversation of instruction. Um, I enjoy the moments at the buzzer beater, at the basketball games. Um, I enjoy um, being able to talk about instruction with um, teachers and curriculum supervisors so we can figure out a way um, for students to learn in a, in a better way. Um, all of those things um, I feel make my moments. Um, in fact, today I had a moment where um, a student was able to get into National Honor Society and was super thrilled and I got to be the one to tell her. Um, these moments where I get to celebrate students, these are my favorite. When I reflect back on my six months, I think about the amazing privilege I have to impact students here in Taunton. Um, I'm so thrilled um, that I was selected to be the assistant principal here. As you can see, Mrs. Bonneau has become quite comfortable in her new position as assistant principal and hopes to make Taunton High as great as it can be. We here at Tiger TV wish her the best of luck and hope she succeeds during her time as assistant principal. I'm Aiden Mendes with Tiger TV. Back to you, Zach. Thank you, Aiden. It is exciting to see the changes that Mrs. Bonneau has been implementing here at Taunton High School. A few weeks ago, our DECA program brought over 100 students to Hyannis to participate in their district competition. Each student competed in several business and marketing categories with the goal of advancing to the state competition in Boston. THS had 38 students advance this year where they will all attempt to qualify for the DECA International Competition in Anaheim, California. Congratulations to all of the students who participated and a special thank you to DECA advisors Mr. McPhail and Ms. Sullivan as well as all the other chaperones. On January 25th, three THS culinary students competed in the Skills USA MRE Meals Ready to Eat competition. Justin Camesso, Nick Woodward, and Logan Rebello competed in this unique event that has partnered with the Army National Guard. Teams across Massachusetts compete to make a gourmet version of military meals that are ready to eat. Specifically, they were required to make an appetizer, an entree, and a dessert with limited resources. This competition results will be out next week. Special thanks to the culinary department for all their hard work. Students in broadcasting classes are always keeping an eye on the latest movie trends. Our very own box office expert, Ava Alves, 
compares a few films that some of you may be familiar with in today's edition of Ava's Real Recommendations. Thanks, Zach. In today's episode, we'll be exploring a noteworthy film while also recommending an older film with a similar vibe that you may want to enjoy from the comfort of your home. We are going to swing right into things with a classic character whom you may be familiar with, Tarzan. Despite being released eight years ago, The Legend of Tarzan, directed by David Yates, is a film that is currently in the Netflix Top 10. This epic adventure film takes us on a journey where Tarzan, played by Alexander Skarsgård, has decided to settle down and live a normal life in London with his wife, Jane, played by Margot Robbie. However, they are both soon lured back into the jungle by an old friend, played by Samuel L. Jackson. Although, when they return, they are soon entangled in deadly conspiracies. They must confront old adversaries and uncover the truth as their enemies threaten their home, love, and the people they care about. Skarsgård and Robbie really shine through with their performances, making an underrated movie in their personal filmographies. The fresh take on the original Tarzan film is truly outstanding, making it worth the watch. If you have already seen that film and want more adventure, the 1999 movie The Mummy is a film you definitely want to put on your watch list. This action-packed movie follows the charismatic Rick O'Connell, played by Brendan Fraser, who accidentally unleashes the agent and vengeful mummy that seeks to bring chaos and revive his lost love. Along the way, a librarian, Evelyn, played by Rachel Weisz, and her brother, Jonathan, played by John Hanna, find Rick to stop the agent mummy and save the people they love and care about. This film is a perfect blend of action, humor, romance, and of course, agent curses. This is truly a cinematic adventure that stands the test of time. If that doesn't convince you enough to watch it, this movie was not only a big box office hit, it actually helped save Universal Studios from going bankrupt. This fun fact is something that was shared with me by a tour guide when I went on the Universal Studios Hollywood's world famous movie tour. This means that many of your favorite movies may have never been made. Who would have ever thought that a fun action movie could save a movie studio? So whether you prefer to swing through a jungle with Tarzan, unravel mummy curses in ancient Egypt, or watch more movies from the comfort of your home, we've got you covered. Tune in for more movie suggestions in future episodes of Tiger TV. I'm Ava Alves. See you next time. Back to you, Zach. Thank you, Ava. That was an amazing spin on some entertaining movies. We look forward to future movie reviews and recommendations. As we approach the end of January, winter sports have hit their midway point of their respective schedules. Numerous programs are having great seasons so far. David Gildred, Tyler Lacerda, and Matt Clayman have more. Take it away, guys. Hello everyone, and welcome back to another edition of Tiger TV's The Rundown, where we always end up in the end zone. Alongside Tyler Lacerda, I'm David Gildred, and the third member of our team, Matt Clayman, will join us shortly. It's been a successful start to the winter sports season for many Taunton High School teams. The wrestling team, hockey team, and boys basketball team are all near the top of Hockenbach League standings. However, the biggest surprise so far has to be the girls basketball team. That's right, Tyler. The girls have already exceeded expectations. They are off to a fantastic start as they currently sit atop the standings and have already qualified for the MIAA state tournament. Senior captain Callie Mello is once again the catalyst of the team as she is averaging over 10 points per game. Her leadership has contributed to the emergence of junior Jillian Doherty and sophomore Taryn Campbell. Both Doherty and Campbell are averaging over 13 points per game. The Tigers now have three players that have the ability to take over a game at any given time. We were able to catch up with head coach Gretchen Rodriguez to see what has been the key to the team's early season success. I think the key to our early season success is their confidence. It's just last year was tough, you know, losing some games, close games, and I would always say to them like next year we're going to get it, next year we're going to get it, these little games, and, and we have this year. So now I think their confidence and their belief in winning game in and game out is, is huge. Me and the coaches have instilled in these girls that you're winners and you have to believe you can win and, and they are believing they can win. Um, and now we're up two games and I'm looking to win the league. The coaches, we're looking to win the league. The girls believe they can win the league. And I wanna be in a good spot in the tournament um, to hopefully get a home game. And then that's the goal right now. Thanks coach. The Tigers girls basketball team is off to their best start in nearly a decade. Best of luck to them the rest of the season, and hopefully they make a deep run in the MIAA state tournament. Taunton High Wrestling also continues to impress. Senior captain Ethan Harris and junior Elijah Prophet 
have the Tigers rolling past their opponents this season. Harris, who is a Marshfield Holiday Tournament champion, has been amazing this season. He is currently undefeated on the season, and last week he broke the Taunton High School all-time record with his 123rd win. Congratulations, Ethan. Prophet, who was also a Marshfield Holiday Tournament champion, has been spectacular with a great record this season. He has been an amazing leader on a young but experienced team. Also, special recognition goes out to head coach Adilson Gaveo, who has now earned over 100 wins as the head coach of the wrestling team. The hockey team has been on fire to start the season, with strong wins over Attleboro and Stoughton. Taunton High also had an impressive 4-3 win over King Philip on January 6th, which gave the Tigers their first victory over the Warriors in nearly 30 years. Senior captain Connor Gorenson is a staple for the Tigers, with over 20 points this season. Gorenson leads a very productive first line, with fellow line mates Caden Clancy and Owen Hathaway for Coach Matea. The final team we're going to highlight today is the boys basketball team. Senior captain Troy Santos has led the team to a solid start as he currently leads the Hockamock League in scoring, averaging over 24 points per game. In addition to Santos, sophomore Dre Thelker has played an important role in the team's success as he is averaging over 10 points per game. Dre provided some late game heroics and a huge victory over Mansfield back Carter, in January 8th. Thelker, three pointer! Tigers win it! Just an unreal shot by the sophomore. Cool, calm, and collective. Absolutely, Tyler. As we referenced in our last episode, a new face has taken over the boys' basketball program. Kobe Santos has taken the reins of a young Tiger squad with high expectations. Our very own Matt Clayman has more on the new head coach. Take it away, Matt. Thanks, guys. I'm standing in the Ramon Fieldos where the boys' basketball team, led by new head coach Kobe Santos, has played some exciting games this year. I caught up with Coach Santos to get his thoughts on the new gig and how the season has gone so far. Coach Santos comes from a rich basketball background, from playing Division I collegiate basketball to nine plus years as a varsity head coach. So prior to coaching, I was a basketball player at Wareham High School. Uh, from there, I transferred to Tabor Academy. I played on the AAU team BABC, and I was fortunate enough to earn a full scholarship to James Madison University. After two years, I transferred to University of New Hampshire, and I finished my playing career in 2010. Um, when I got home, I jumped on the Wareham High School coaching staff along with UMass Dartmouth coaching staff. And then from there, I was the head basketball coach at Bishop Sting the last nine years. So a long journey as a player, and um, this is my 10th year as a high school basketball varsity coach. Coach Santos went 121-76 and 76 during his tenure at Bishop Stang High School. He hopes to bring a similar level of success to Taunton High School. On paper, it'll say that we had, like I personally had a good track record, but it's because we had great players, we had a great staff. Everyone is involved in winning. It starts with the custodians, it's the, and then it goes to the teachers in contact with me all the time about our kids, and then it, kids making the right plays on and off the court. I have a young coaching staff. It's everyone is part of this. I take the blame for the losses. When we win, it's because of them. The team has greatly improved since the start of the season. Coach Sanders is hopeful for continued growth and an MIAA playoff tournament appearance. Good. Uh, since we started, we've grown tremendously. We've had some big wins. Obviously, Mansfield, Attleboro. Uh, I think we snuck up on a lot of people. They were unsure where we'd be, and now we're being hunted because now it's okay this is a good basketball team so we're getting everyone's best shot so now moving forward we're hoping to still qualify for the tournament and then it, and then it gets real and that's when um, a lot of stuff matters the defensive end we got to clean up but so far so good we're, we're learning every day and that's all we can ask for it's clear that coach Sanders is motivated to lead the tigers to success this season and in the future we look forward to watching his team compete at a high level on the court and hopefully they'll have a deep run in this year's state tournament be sure to catch me calling their home games on our YouTube channel, THS TV Studio. For Tiger TV, I'm Matt Clayman. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Matt. He has clearly brought this young but experienced group to a new level this season. Well, that's going to wrap things up for this edition of The Rundown. For Tiger TV, I'm David Gildred. And I'm Tyler Lacerda. Back to you in the studio, Zach. Now it's time for our most interactive segment, Tiger Talk. Jose Torn and Dwayne Burgo are out roaming the halls asking the hard-hitting questions. Take it away, guys. Thanks, Zach. Welcome back to another segment of Tiger Talks. I'm Dwayne Bergo. And I'm Jose Toro. And this time, we'll be asking a more serious question. That's right. We've been roaming the halls asking, if you could have dinner with one person, dead or alive, who would it be? 
Let's go see what the people have to say. Uh, I'll probably have it with Mr. Beast since I could probably persuade him to lend me some money. He just liked giving it away, so why not? I would have dinner with Adam Sandler just to ask him about his style. I would have dinner with Phil Belichick to ask him about the Patriots. Um, Amy Winehouse because she has a very interesting story on her life. Uh, I would say Jalen Ramsey because I think he's one of the best DBs of all time. Have to go with Mike Tyson. Uh, just because you never know what you're going to get with that guy. It could be sane one minute and insane the next. I would choose LeBron James because he's the GOAT and I would just love to talk to him and talk about his success and how he got to where he is now. It would be my father because I was daddy's little girl and I miss him. Lionel Messi because he's my favorite player and the best soccer player in the world. Anybody. Because of recent events, uh, I'd say Bill Belichick. I would want, if I could get complete honesty from him, um, I want to know what transpired between him and Robert Kraft uh, after their blowout at Germany, um, and just get the inner workings of the Patriot organization for the past 25 years. There were lots of great answers there, Dwayne. Who would you choose? Me, personally, I would choose Ronald Acuna Jr. What about you? I have to say Sean Taylor. That's a great answer. Zach, who would you choose? Those were some great answers. I think I would have to say I would want to have dinner with Julian Edelman. And now we'll wrap it up here on this episode of Tiger TV. We want to thank you for tuning into this episode. Be sure to follow our YouTube channel and our social media pages to stay updated on the latest news. For our entire Tiger TV crew, I'm Zachary Johnson, and we will see you next time.